Hi everyone, and welcome to No Man's Sky Chimera. In Chimera, we modify the No Man's Sky engine and see what procedural greatness we can achieve. So this winter planet was extremely cold, fairly barren, some, some flora, a little fauna, but the terrain, the terrainus, that is what had me so excited about this planet. As you will see throughout the video, the mountain ranges are expansive. They are massive, extremely tall, and the shapes that I was able to get with this planet um, was nice. It was like a mixture of realistic and alien, just enough to where I was like, wow, I really like that. I spent I spent a lot of time here considering it's literally a frozen wasteland, you know? Some minerals, a uh, little, little bit of flora and fauna. Look at that chunk. Look at that chunk. I love that chunk. I love terrain. Oh my gosh, guys. If you haven't noticed <laughs> in, in the, in the uh, you know, entire library of my No Man's Sky videos, um, I love terrain. I get excited about terrain. Terrain is why I visit a planet. Terrain is why I stay on a planet. But I'm I'm a explorer. I'm a vagabond. Hey, let's see if we can chase this guy down. Can we get him? Can we get him? We're gonna get you. We're gonna get you. Oh, he cheats. I can't fly through the mountain like you. We'll just say he skimmed the side of the mountain and it just appeared like he went through the mountain. <sighs> so, Worlds 2.0. When do we get it? When do we get it? Come on. Come on, Sean Murray, you can do it. Look at this. Look at this valley. Guys, this is vast. This is huge. Okay? And uh, off in the distance in some of these... See those? See those really jagged rocks out there? That are huge? And you see them through the mist? I love silhouettes. If I can ever get... You know what? Maybe maybe one or two videos I'll... Uh, I'll create... Um, extremely extremely thick I have the weather tuned up a little bit with this but uh, extremely thick atmosphere to where it's just like so foggy that anything huge in the in the background is like a silhouette I love silhouettes I don't know you know you can have you can always have too much of a good thing though you know like my lattice my lattice terrain which by the way um, I did record two today this was one uh, the other, the next video is going to be this insanely, uh, oh, my, I don't even know how to explain it. It was, the the weather was so thick, a lot of fog, uh, but it was, I don't know, it was very different, and lots of lattice, uh, lots, lots of lattice terrain, and it blended very well. You know, because you know what I noticed, guys, and I know I digressed, I was mentioning worlds part two and then i went off on this but uh but we're mainly here for this i don't have any new information about worlds part two but you know um what i noticed is uh the past couple two videos were very tame worlds um they were nice you know sometimes it's nice like i'll i'll do crazy world crazy world crazy world throw in uh, some tame worlds because they can't all be crazy i mean let's face it you, you know variety is the spice of life so, um, you know, and I, I there was, uh, I think, two videos back, um, there was a beautiful world that I was able to get that was very uh, reminiscent of Legacy uh, version of No Man's Sky 1.0. It reminded me so much of 1.0 with the style. Uh, but for me, and I got to watch this because I get carried away. For me, the extreme world, as extreme as I can achieve, some of you might say, these aren't very extreme. This terrain's not very great, Scott. Well, for me, the more extreme the terrain, the more interesting the world. And so I love extreme worlds. So when I was doing this and the next video that you'll see, uh, I'll probably put it out tomorrow uh, with the, oh, oh, so, so, it's so atmospheric with the lattice, a lot of lattice uh, terrain. Uh, you know, that excites me. And, uh, and so I will be doing more tame worlds too, you know, there'll be some more tame that's, as long as it's beautiful, as long as it's beautiful, but when I get super tall mountain ranges, vast expanses of mountains, and, uh, 
you know, and, and crazy terrain shapes, multi-tiered, you know, terrain where you, you fall in one layer and you're like, oh, this is cool. I'm in a, I'm in a sub-level that's not a cave. It's just a sub-level of Terra, you know, um, I don't know, just below the crow. Oh, 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 whoops, I fell again. I'm in a third level of uh, you know, terrain level. Oops. Oh, oh, I just fell into a super vast cave. Three, even, I've even seen up to four levels of terrain with my testing, getting, um, uh, particularly when I, when I plug in these, th there's these lattice settings that I have, guys. And sometimes, sometimes the way they interact with the procedural engine is so freaking amazing. And I try to record them, you know. Um, sometimes I think, oh, you know, sometimes I get mad at myself because I'll see a world and I'm like, oh, this is super cool. This is super cool. I need to record it. But I've seen so many that day. I'm just like, you know what? Nah, the next one will be better. Or 10, 10, 10 worlds down the, you know, 10 worlds down the line will be better. And then I regret recording that one because once I, once I clear it, um, you know, it's, it's gone. You know, you don't get it back unless you recorded all those settings. I love it when these massive ships, these freighters come flying in, and here we have, you know, night falling, night is blue here, you would think, isn't night, isn't night blue uh, on most worlds, well, in other games, I'm sure it, it is like a, a traditional earth night, but here in No Man's Sky, you know we can have some crazy nighttime, and the bioluminescent uh, flora, Seen some beautiful. You know what? I need to do a night world. So I'll do. I'll get that crazy, crazy atmospheric world, uh, alien world out next, probably tomorrow. And then after that, I'm gonna try to find an incredible night planet. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'm I'm excited. I want to do night planet. And then I I want to focus on a cave. I want to do some amazing caves. Um, I gotta do some work on caves though. I don't know if caves will be coming soon, because uh. Uh, in my testing in the past, I've come up with some caves that, oh my gosh, they were like a planet in and of themselves, like in a, oh, just so huge, so vast, uh, not little tunnel caves, like massive ca cavernous mountain type, I don't know, caves, <sighs> I love No Man's Sky, I'm so happy with this world's update, it has me totally engrossed in No Man's Sky, cannot wait for Worlds Part 2, whatever other updates Hello Games is going to give us. Hopefully September, guys. I got my fingers crossed for September. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you so much for stopping by. We'll see you next time.